Now that we have evaluated and simplified expressions and solved equations, we're going to start putting these ideas together, looking at solving linear equations that require simplification. So we're going to do the same simplifying of expressions we did before, distribute, combine like terms, and then we're going to solve the way we have been doing. But remember, the first step to solving is to simplify each side completely. You want each side as simple as possible, and if you do this right, you should always get something very easy to work with that looks like what we saw in the last video. And remember, you can simplify by doing the same two things we always do to simplify expressions. We start with the distributive property, and then we move on to combining like terms. Example 1 here has a parenthetical with a number in front, which suggests that we're going to begin with the distributive property. So I'll distribute that 3. Remember, 3 times 2 is 6. 3 times 6 is 18. Plus 8 equals 17. Now, I've seen a lot of students do this. They'll add 18 here like that. Don't do that. That is a big, big no-no. Never, ever, ever do that. The idea of adding things has to happen on opposite sides of an equal sign. So I'll show you how to do that correctly on the next step here. But before that, we actually combine these. We just handle them by adding or subtracting them. In this case, we have negative 18 plus 8, which comes out to negative 10. So we'll have 6x minus 10 equals 17. Now, as I was saying, you don't want to add two things to the same side, but what you can do you, is you can add 10 to both sides because you're adding it to the opposite side of the equal sign. You can think of the equal sign as sort of the spine of the problem. So we just do equal things on each side of it. We get 6x equals 27. Now to solve this we're going to divide by 6 and x equals 27 over 6. Remember though that's not in lowest terms. You can divide the top and the bottom of this by 3. And if you divide the top and the bottom by 3, you get 9 halves. Example 2 works exactly the same way. There's just a little more to it. So we begin again with the distributive property. 12x minus 15x. Now remember, negative 5 times negative 1 is positive 5. Equals 4. 3 times 2x is 6x. 3 times 1 is 3. On the left hand side, we have these two x terms we can combine. On the right hand side, we have two constant terms we can combine. 12x minus 15x is negative 3x. 4 plus 3 is 7, plus 6x here. We will add 3x to both sides. And we get 5 equals 7 plus 9x. Now to solve, we'll just subtract 7 from both sides. We get negative 2 equals 9x. And to finish this whole problem off, of course, we divide both sides by 9, and perforce, we get x equals negative 2 ninths. So practice this a little bit, and try to make things look like problems that you've already seen, and you should be good to go.